Have a Vancouver Point Grey. Honourable Speaker, vacant investment homes and condos have been a source of concern for Vancouver residents for years, and now a long-awaited study on empty homes is being presented at Vancouver City Council tomorrow. The Mayor of Vancouver wrote to the Premier about this months ago, asking for a change to the Vancouver Charter to help deal with the issue. He got a polite non-response and no action. I asked the Housing Minister, well, the Minister we're told is responsible for housing about this last week, and he had no answer either. He took it on notice. So again, to the housing minister who is answering media questions about this in the hall today, with growing concern, the Metro Vancouver houses and condos are being kept vacant as investments during an affordability crisis. Why hasn't this government acted on the mayor of Vancouver's request for assistance? Minister Finance. Um, Madam Speaker, uh, thank you, and to the uh, member for the question. Like him, I understand there is a report uh, that will be tabled uh, before the uh, Council for the City of Vancouver. Interested to see uh, what it includes, uh, what the methodology was. Though to characterize as the member has uh, that the government has taken no action, uh, I think it's incorrect. Uh, clearly, there is an interest uh, on the part of the government, I think on uh, most members of the chamber, to better ascertain the circumstances that uh, prevail within uh, that part of British Columbia's uh, housing market. Uh, that's why we announced the changes uh, relating, to the, uh, relating to the collection of uh, data and information. I think that will better help make, uh, make informed uh, choices. And I will simply and finally say this, uh, Madam Speaker, there are many reasons that a residence uh, can be uh, vacant. Uh, in proceeding uh, along some of these recommended paths, uh, we best ensure that we do not uh, have unintended consequences. Uh, so we'll look for the report from Vancouver, uh, collect the data, uh, and then be in a better position to make informed choices on behalf of all British Columbians.